Let's take a walk through the code of this LabVIEW project. Begin by reviewing the overall structure of both the PC VI and then as well as FPGA VI. Here we have the PC VI and then the FPGA VI. FPGA main has one control and one indicator. The control manipulates a pair of FPGA IO nodes directly. Then it reads the button zero and shows that on the indicator button zero. The loop on the FPGA just runs indefinitely. Looking at PC main, we begin by opening a reference to the FPGA main VI. Draw your attention to this configuration option. This is where you choose the VI that you wish to run. And then select this option so that the FPGA main VI will run. The read write control node manipulates the front panel of FPGA main. So the value that you have on PC main manipulates directly the control on FPGA main. You can read the value directly of this indicator, so that reads it back into the PC main and then displays it on the front panel of PC main. This loop is updating uh, at 10 hertz, and then either an error or the stop button causes it to stop, at which time you close the reference to the FPGA and then actually stop the FPGA VI running. To a right click, find FPGA interface. Here we have the open FPGA VI reference, the read write control node, and then the close FPGA VI reference. 